going on guys tree coming back to your screen by means of the world wide web and I just hit the wrong freaking button <laughs> sorry about that alright guys so starting very 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 early this morning for those on the east coast of the US and A anyway um, they started up the raid metal rush for the first time in global brave frontier alright so those of you who play uh, JP version a lot I'm sure you already know what this is but for those of you that don't, um, I'll just give you a quick explanation. Basically what this is, is for this event period, you see here July 10, 2100 to July 12, 2059 PST. All right, What's going to be happening is there is an enemy known as Medanchi. Medanchi is what is how I'm going to call it. it. may be wrong, it may be Medanchi, I don't know. That's how I'm saying it, Medanchi. There we go. So there's four different levels, RC levels, they have this boss in, all right? the higher RC level that you battle them on the more medals you get basically the point is to get a whole bunch of medals for the slot machine in Imperial Capital Randall okay so uh, of course you know me I'm going for the highest difficulty so basically I'm just bring you guys a quick video um, showing you what we're getting into here so first you go to raid battle alright then you get in there you can open up a room a friend may have a room open that's up to you I'm gonna just open up a new one here really quick alright let's uh next put that on in case I gotta get somebody to boot alright now we go to RC4 because there's nothing in RC5 yet so you go to RC4 and then there's a mission in here called Metal Rush Level 4 alright pick that you can pick an easier level um, they got it in RC classes 1, 2, and 3 as well. It's just you won't get as many medals. All right. Plus, if you got even a halfway decent squad, you should have no problem taking this guy out anyway. He's, he's actually very easy in my opinion. All right. But I'll just show you um, how I'm doing it. Pretty much my squad makeup and all of that so you'll know what's going on. Uh, let's see if I can find me a decent uh, fever friend here. If you bring Raga, you'll wreck even more, but I kind of want a fever if I got one. There's one. Let's see if I've got something else here. There we go. That's a pretty decent fever there. So let's run a fever. Um, most will probably run Raga just to get it knocked out quick. So I already got people joining in. I don't know these guys, but we're going to wreck this junk quick. Real quick. Let me show you how easy this guy is. So uh, on RC level 4 here, um, the boss for Dance, he has 4 million HP, alright? But do not be intimidated by that at all, guys. This guy actually falls very quick, even on solo, alright? I soloed this guy, and it took me maybe 3 to 4 minutes to beat him. And that was without using, you know, a Raga friend. I used a Fever friend, which doesn't really do much attack-wise. He's more for BC gauge, or BB gauges. But if you bring like a Raga friend, you'll destroy this guy quick. Alright, the quickest way to wreck Medans, alright. Um, it's a big ugly beast, it's light element. Um, I'm, of course, you know, usually I'm against bringing elements where the enemy deals more damage. But this guy is so small of a threat, guys, you, it really doesn't even matter. It honestly doesn't even matter. Raid battles acting kooky. But uh, the main reason this guy's like uber easy is because you can inflict status ailments on this guy like crazy like you can really put this boss in a very very bad state status ailment wise okay so uh you can inflict this boss with everything except port or not excuse me except paralyze and curse all right you can't paralyze him you can't curse him but every other status ailment you can inflict on this boss and that is what makes this guy pretty much a walk in the park all right so um, let's start talking about my squad makeup here. All right, um, I brought Arden. Okay, we'll start with Arden. I'm bringing Arden mainly because he paints. All right. Also, Arden does have the ability to decrease the attack. Not that you have to worry about that too much. Um, this guy, he really isn't that strong, honestly. Um, I was never in any danger of dying the first few times I ran this. All right, not even close. Not even the red zone. So uh. Keep your HP up, keep mitigation up. You should be able to wreck this guy fairly quick. Alright. But uh 
Arden's gonna paint for us while being able to still do damage, alright? Fiva, friend, mainly for the leader skill to keep the BB gauges up. Um, you're, you're only going against one enemy, so um, probably be better to have a, a lead that can keep the BB gauges up. Um, Raga would work as well because uh, he gives BB gauge on Spark, so uh, Raga wouldn't be bad, alright? So here the big ugly one is, guys, alright? So start with Art in the paint. Then Fever to get the BB gauge, BC drop rate up. And then for Doll, my man for Doll, key unit, alright? Um, we, we basically brought the Curry for one effect of her SBB, giving us BB gauge when we get attacked, alright? That's the main reason I'm bringing the Curry. But Doll is probably the real MVP when it comes to uh, this boss, alright? Because the main reason being, uh, with Fadal's SBB, alright, this boss. Uh, Fadal paints the entire squad with the ability to be able to poison and injure with his SBB, which is perfect for this boss. When you, when you poison him, alright, you're dealing 40,000 damage per turn, I believe it is, to this guy, to poison alone. And then the injury just makes his attack so weak, and I have two units that can do attack down, so, I mean, this, this squad just leaves this guy in a petty state, honestly. In a real pitiful state so uh definitely this squad if you, if you can it wrecks it wrecks this boss pretty well and raid battle is being kooky again because it's not letting me fight there we go so uh using colt um mainly for the leader skill all right i do like the fact also that colt uh gives us bb gauge over turns all right so every turn we get a little bit of a boost to our BB gauges from his SBB. Definitely helps a lot. Also another thing about the Curry, uh, with her Scarlet Pin equipped, she has a chance to deal ra random status ailments, alright? So that helps as well. Um, the Curry gives you the ability to be able to curse the boss, but you can't curse him, so, or not curse the boss, but paint your squad with curse. But since you can't curse the boss, that's really irrelevant. But with her random status ailment, with Fadal only being able to poison and injure, the curry gives me the ability to be able to hit him with sickness and weakness as well. To really just leave him in a deplorable state. So, um, Colt for leader skill, he does increase crit. Um, so that helps crit damage, crit hit rate. And then last but not least, my man Aaron is basically there for mitigation. All right. So this boss falls really quick. All right, you'll see at the end of the video we're gonna get a ton of medals. And that's pretty much the deal behind Metal Rush, alright? Try to stack up as many metals as you can for those slot machines and just go crazy. This event only goes on for a couple days though, guys. So, uh, may want to try to make it a priority for the time being. Make sure it's something important for you. There's, there's a lot going on in the game right now. There's still Half Energy Vortex, Double Experience Quest. Now we got Metal Rush and there's just a ton going on, guys. So, uh... I, I don't think I'm going to hear too much people crying lack of content for the time being. There's a ton going on here. Alright. I pretty much say this is it for the poor guy. So just wrap it up here. Lay him flat. On his back. Holler back, clack, clack. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see guys, that 4 million HP, nothing to be intimidated by. Freaking just wreck them out quick. Nothing to it. Done. Next. Alright, so uh, for at least the next couple days, you may want to focus your energy on raid battle. Get your raid uh, medals up so you'll be able to uh, run some slots. You'd possibly get you some sphere frogs and burst frogs and things of that nature. Alright, so uh, I'm already sitting on a ton of metals. Probably after this Metal Rush event is over, I'm going to come with a super ultra mega slot video because I got a ton of metals already. And with this Metal Rush event here, it's only going to add to the amount. So I'm looking to be in the uh, quadra digits here by the end of this event for sure. See, 32 metals. Give me a total of 745. So definitely guys if you can get off in this metal rush really good stuff all right so 
just a quick run through showing you guys what Metal Rush is all about, mainly for the global only players. Um, JP players will already know what this is about. So uh, that's going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, anything like that, just post them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. If you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier soon. Later, guys.